Simon Sinek wrote a book in 2018 for business owners. However, it can be used for productivity. This is how it works. Any task can be placed into one of two categories, infinite or finite. Finite means there is a clearly defined end, such as uh, finishing writing a book. Infinite means there is no end. An example of this would be the laundry or the dishes. No matter how much you do them, there will still be more tomorrow. If you have a finite task, you want to use a finite strategy. If you have an infinite task, you want to use an infinite strategy. A finite strategy is like a sprint. You can throw a lot of effort at the task recklessly because you will be done with it at some point and your mind can reward you for your effort. However, an infinite task is never over, which means your mind can't reward you on the completion of that task. This strategy is best described as a marathon. And there lies the issue. Most of us use a finite strategy on everything instead of having different strategies for different tasks. We are trying to sprint in a marathon which leads to burnout, which is not productive. For example, laundry, dishes, and cooking are infinite tasks or infinite games, in the words of Simon Sinek. They are never 100% complete because there will always be more tomorrow. It's common to get frustrated at these tasks because we just want them to be 100% done. But that is the wrong strategy and the wrong mindset to have. You are acting like you can sprint to get to 100% completion, but that's impossible, and so you get frustrated. That frustration over time leads to burnout, which puts a hard stop on all of your productivity. Instead of sprinting for infinite tasks, you want to marathon it. Optimize for the long term instead of the short term. What does that look like? Routines instead of goals. Instead of doing laundry until laundry is 100% done, have a routine of doing laundry for 15 to 20 minutes a day, and within that time frame, prioritize that which is most important to wash. You won't get all of it done every day, but chances are, one of those days, laundry will be light and you will be able to fully catch up. If it continues to grow out of control, then we need to expand your routine a bit, but that is still easier than feeling like you need to get 100% of it done every day. Your mindset shifts from, I need to get all of this done today, which is stressful, to I need to carry out this routine for 20 minutes today, which is much less stressful. You're going from a sprinting strategy to a marathon strategy, which is easier on the mind and makes you more productive. This, of course, is not limited to housework. Every task can be separated into these categories. What I do in my corporate job is I separate my tasks into these two categories, and I have routines for my infinite tasks, and I spend the rest of my time on my finite tasks. I sprint for the finite tasks, but I marathon for the infinite tasks. Of course, that means I'm not getting 100% of those infinite tasks done, but I focus on that which is most important and make sure that those tasks are done within my routine and that keeps my responsibilities under control and allows me to spend time on my finite tasks. It has allowed me to do more work and to be more responsible, which has led to multiple promotions, so it was well worth adding to my tool belt. So my recommendation to you in order to work better with your mind rather than against it is to take your most difficult and time-consuming tasks at home and at work and organize them based on if they are finite or infinite and then implement the correct strategy in order to maximize your productivity and minimize the risk of burnout. Strategy is important when it comes to working with your mind, so define your tasks and implement the best strategy for getting the job done.